Hi, my name's Nikki Dudley and I'm the author of Volta, which will be coming out in May. And I'm going to read you a little extract from the first chapter. I really hope you enjoy it and hopefully you'll pick up a copy. Thanks very much. Chapter one, Bryony. Please. She knew that voice. She heard it over and over in her ears, but only realized it was a dream when her eyes flickered open, like a blind slowly letting in light. She was on the floor, one arm bent at a strange angle as if she had fallen from a great height. It wasn't broken though, it had only gone to sleep. She rubbed her eyes. She realised her hands were covered in something sticky, so it was hard to see properly. The blinds were closed. The sun always streamed in the kitchen windows during sunny days, sometimes forcing them to close the blinds so they didn't turn into a puddle of sweat. The room was lit by one small lamp. She knew where she was. The layer of Ed's flat was almost identical to hers. The stickiness was red. The stickiness was... blood. She tried to wipe it away, but it was flaky and hard against her skin as though she'd been covered in it for a long time, maybe hours. Her face also felt raw, as though she'd been crying for days without a break. She felt dried out on the inside. She checked herself for injuries, but didn't find any. She sighed into the room. What time is it? She couldn't see a clock, even though she was sure there used to be one on the side table next to her. It was a small digital clock with angry red numbers. She got on her knees and crawled towards the other side of the sofa, finding the clock on the floor and picked it up. It was 2.51pm. She dropped it again. She concentrated on her arms and hands again. So much blood. It had erupted over her top, down her arms, and there were splashes straining, staining her trousers. She touched it. It was dry. She noticed the stain on the floor then. Where she had been lying, the blood had soaked into the floorboards. It felt tacky when she pressed her fingers against it. She used the sofa to haul herself up. Her legs shook, but she readjusted after a few seconds. When had she last eaten? She couldn't remember. She didn't allow herself to sit on the sofa, but forced herself to walk towards the bedroom. The door was partially open. She hesitated in front of it. This must be a dream, she thought more like a nightmare, but regardless, not real. She wasn't really covered in blood. She didn't have broken nails. She didn't have a tear in her top. This was all make-believe. Thank you very much for listening. I really hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully you'll pick up a copy of Volta soon. Bye.